What asset could possibly sell half as much, but double in its value at the same time? Find out with Sherpa Real Estate's 2022 first quarter market report. Well, here we are two years after the onset of the pandemic, and if you've been hiding under a rock and haven't heard, our market, like many markets around the country, has experienced a huge increase in value. The factors contributing to this are years of very low interest rates, a cyclical shortage of home building, and the newest factor is the work from home phenomenon. Many of our clients who are able to be remote are coming here looking for a better climate and a variety of ways to enjoy the outdoors. Texas, Oklahoma, California, Arizona, New Mexico, and now this year, Denver and the Front Range have been our most prominent buyers. If you'd like to keep an eye on the Pagosa Springs market, we have some good data to share with you from the last three months. So let's get right into the numbers. Let's dive right into the numbers now. We're gonna start with residential analysis, single family homes. First quarter of 2021, we saw 134 unit sales. First quarter of 2022, saw 105 unit sales. So that's actually a decrease of 28%. Now that's a big number, and it's one of the few decreases we're gonna see. Uh, we believe and we know that's that's just a direct reflection of the lack of inventory. There are plenty of buyers out there and not enough homes to sell, which is the same problem that most of the country's facing right now. Residential sales and dollar amount. So this is similar but different. This is the millions of dollars sold in Arch County. 2021, the first quarter, we sold uh, just a little under 69 million. And 2022, 67 million and some change. That was a drop in 3% gross volume sales. So a little bit uh, less aggressive drop there for those numbers. Average home value by quarter in a typ typical Pagosa Lakes home. Uh, what we mean by typical Pagosa Lakes home is the area of the lakes that have smaller acreage and are three bedroom, three bath, and kind of have a, a, a median range of square footage. So that is not all inclusive of the county. So these numbers are not gonna be indicative of, of a grand total of the county, but they're a, a really healthy slice of the market that we like to track because it's very predictable and it helps give us a very good um, analysis on trends, right? Up and down trends. So uh, average home value by quarter of the last eight quarters, you can see how they lay out here. They've pretty much gone up. But if you look at the two blue bars, the 2021 uh, first quarter was a sales uh, price of 434654 And the first quarter of 2022 is 529417 So that's an 18% increase in value. So that tells us that we're starting off uh, with a bang again with some pretty huge double digit numbers for value increase year over year. Average condo value by quarter, essentially the same uh, analysis there. Um, first quarter of 2021, we saw $283,000 for the average condo price. And first quarter of 2022, we saw 317,000 and some change for an 11% increase of condos uh, year over year for the quarter. Average price per square foot by quarter. Again, uh, kind of a typical Pagosa Lake home scenario, less than half an acre. So average price per square foot, you can see has dramatically grown also over the years. Uh, these eight quarters. First quarter of 2021, we saw $250 a square foot. And this quarter, 325. If you look really closely, there's a huge jump between last quarter, uh, you know, Q3, uh, sorry, Q4 of 2021 and, and the first quarter of 2022. 23% jump year over year with that. This, uh, this little analysis is kind of nerdy and uh, what it means is it's called months of inventory, right? Archuleta County residential months of inventory. And essentially a healthy inventory on any market is, is about six months, meaning uh, given the amount and the pace of sales in the past year, um, factored in with the amount of properties on the market currently, 
uh, gives us the amount of months it will take to sell those. So six months is, is kind of good and healthy and average. Anything less than that is a seller's market. Anything more than that is a buyer's market. So we are on the extreme uh, end right now uh, at 1.2 months uh, of inventory, which is a very extreme seller's market as mo most of the country is in right now. So, you know, essentially 40 something days means that m most properties, most homes going on the property will go into contract almost immediately and it takes about 40, 40 ish days to close those. So that's what we're seeing there. Let's flip over to some land analysis really quickly. If we look at the typical lot unit sales in Pagosa Lakes, again, under half an acre, in 2021, we had 53 lot sales. And in 2022, we have 32 lot sales. Now this is a fascinating couple of charts. Uh, half the sales this year, um, again, would seem like less buyers in town may be buying those lots, but it's quite the opposite. Um, those lots are um, going running off the shelf really quickly, and there's not enough inventory. As, as it, it indicated in the next slide, the typical lot unit sells in dollar amount, if you look at that number, First quarter of 2021, uh, we had $28,000 average, $29,000 average. First quarter of 2022, $56,000 average. So almost twice the value. So again, this is showing us that the inventory is getting small and buyers are coming and competing and pushing those prices up at a really, really high rate, higher than I've ever seen uh, in this town. And really the inventory, as I'll show you in this next slide, is very small. This is the most shocking stat that I pulled for this quarter. For years and years, we had a lot of inventory, nine, 10 months, 12 months for any lots. It was always easy to find lots for a deal. It's not the case right now. 2021, first quarter, we had 198 sales uh, and 18 active now. So when we do the math on all that, that gives us a 1.1 month inventory for those properties. Uh, again, very much a seller's market for those properties. So what does all this mean for you as a buyer? Inventory last quarter was exceptionally tight and that pushed prices up. And we're hopeful that increased interest rates will start to change this in Q2. But we may not see price increasing, sorry, price easing until quarter three or maybe even four. A couple of other thoughts for you as a buyer. Be uber prepared. That is super important right now. You need a strong prequal letter if you're getting a lender. You need uh, cash on hand or as cash reserves if possible to strengthen your down payment or even cover an appraisal gap. And if you're an out of town buyer, being present to walk through the home when you put an offer in strengthens your position greatly. Um, a lot of the sellers are not looking at offers coming from buyers if they haven't been in the home. Another strategy is allowing for a seller to rent back. That's a thought for you. And if you need to sell a home in another market to buy here, please consult with one of our guides. There's several creative ways to do this and we can help you negotiate a successful bridge. So I hope that was helpful for you and I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Until next time, we hope you are enjoying your mountain lifestyle.